He saw his whole life as a battle, good and evil, light and darkness. He was a believer and a sinner. He looked to heaven while raising hell. Johnny Cash is like one of the presidents on Mount Rushmore. He's not just one of the great country singers, one of the great country icons. He's one of the great Americans. He captured the suffering, uh, the sort of everyday tears and joys of the working man. He was a rebel, he was an outsider, but ultimately he was an amazing storyteller and performer and utterly unique. The extraordinary life and career of Johnny Cash came to an end in the middle of the night in a hospital in Nashville. Complications from diabetes had led to respiratory failure. He was 71. I think there was enormous sadness and grief when Cash passed because he had absolutely been redeemed at that point. You know, he really was an extremely beloved and respected and honored figure. I think there was a sense of now he can be at peace. It wasn't like losing a Kurt Cobain at 27 or a Jimi Hendrix. There wasn't a sense that he died too young, um, what would have happened next. Cash's death came just months after that of his wife, June. She had gone into hospital for open heart surgery, which was initially thought successful. Days later, however, she went into cardiac arrest and died with Johnny Cash at her side on May 15th. Her sudden passing robbed Cash of his soulmate. Few close to him were surprised when he soon followed her. The couple, inseparable in life, were buried together close to their home in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I think he died of a broken heart. You know, I mean, he had health problems. He was old, both of them were old. But at the same time, you know, this was the great love affair of his life. And there's a slight, you know, romanticism to that, that, you know, he didn't want to live without her, that he wanted to follow her. Mm -hmm. 